you know, uh, we talk about hoarders every yeah. once in a while. I, I thought about because Greg Greg said something just kind of in passing. I, I forget what your example was. Uh -huh. Something along the lines of like, what's something that you used to be impressed by? Oh, right. No longer. And when I was a kid, we lived in this apartment complex in the Deer Creek apartment complex in Plainsboro, New Jersey. Uh -huh. Like typical, you know, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know, just my mom and I, and then uh, I'd be outside with the other kids. And there was this guy who had like in his apartment, he had all this stuff. It was like a museum, but it was like stacks of magazines. It was stacks of newspapers. So he was it a was, legit hoarder. He was a hoarder. <laughs> Not a collector. Yeah, and yeah. he thought it was cool. And we thought it was so cool. This guy was like, <laughs> wow. I mean, the guy had like pathways where you could walk. Right. Through. It was a small one bedroom apartment, you know? That's funny because uh -huh. yeah. when I was a kid, we had a neighbor, Mel, if I remember his name, and his house was such a trash heap. Looking back, I think he was a hoarder. And the reason I loved going over there, number one, he was just friendly. And you could basically do whatever you wanted. You could mess up the backyard. It wouldn't care. He wouldn't care. Yeah, and that was cool. It was super cool. Like, now, oh, not impressed. He's got so I many know. like wheelbarrows and tools and potted plants. And I'm like, and now looking back, yeah. Mel was a dumpy hoarder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he had all, it wasn't just like magazines and, um, and uh, newspapers, newspapers. And stuff. I mean, he had all kinds of stuff. But it was like piled on top of the stacked. And they were pretty neatly stacked. It wasn't mm -hmm. just it was like, like a clean hoarder. It wasn't someone just like <laughs> threw it in there, mm -hmm. right? Um, no, yeah. And he I would, had neighbors that wasn't neatly stacked at all. Yeah, and I remember he had a really cool stereo system that he would a uh, hi-fi that he would he would blast. Yes. This guy was obsessed with Billy Joel. He'd blast Billy Joel. He always had his uh, sliding door open, uh -huh. and uh -huh. uh, yeah, we would be outside <laughs> playing or whatever, blasting Billy Joel, <laughs> blasting Billy Joel. I remember the, I mean, it was the 80s. You know? I remember yeah. the sure. first CD I ever saw in my life when yeah. CDs first came out. And the guy that owned it, I thought, number one, you must be a millionaire. You have yeah, a yeah. CD player. <laughs> and the only CD he had were sound effects. It's like, listen yeah. how real this airplane sounds. And he would hit play. <laughs> like, Whoa, it's Whoa. like we're at the airport. Yeah, yeah my friend <laughs> Melissa <laughs> Horowitz, her dad, <laughs> had a, uh, a CD player. And uh, it had the, a cover over it. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. for like the, dust. the dust. Yeah. yeah, it was like a, it, it's like this uh, it vinyl precious. kind of cover thing you put over the CD player <laughs> when you weren't uh -huh. using it. Oh yeah, you got to protect it. What were you? What were you saying? I forget the example you gave. Like something well, that you uh, used to be impressed by. Well, one of the things is when we talk about our childhoods, and Ravy says, "Oh, we'd be in the basement watching HBO." Right. Holy crap! If you had HBO, <laughs> oh yeah, balling, you were just it was unbelievable yeah. Yeah. to me. I yeah. knew one family that had hbo really yeah. and i thought they were the coolest oh we didn't have it we didn't have any of the pictures. we had it like from the jump yeah like we had they, cable I, I couldn't believe now it's like what streaming service don't you have yeah we didn't have cable and eventually you know everyone was stealing cable they would have like i don't know some special card that they put in the back right um uh, yeah, i remember everybody doing that when the satellite came around everybody yeah. had a satellite card guy yeah. right mm. or they had the special box that you got all the cable channels out of so actually i remember okay when we first moved out of the apartments and we moved into, it was just regular like um, uh, subdivision, single family uh -huh. homes. Right. And one of our neighbors on our street had one of those giant satellites. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Because this is before DirecTV and, you know, Dish or whatever. I mean, it was yeah. on a concrete pad. Oh, wow. Right. And you'd control it from the inside and you'd see it move. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't remember those. Oh, yeah. Don't? Oh, yeah. For home use? No, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, it was this massive, and after would, if it would snow or whatever, he'd be out there with a broom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Playing it, it all. It they off. would get channels from, like, other countries. Oh, you right. got all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I think I was impressed by basically everything as a kid yeah. because we were the family on the block that was last to get everything. The last to get a remote control TV. So yeah. if you had a remote control TV, I thought you were a baller. We were the last to get an answering machine. Mm. And I thought if you had an answering machine, it was incredible. Or if you had call waiting, remember that? Oh, um, sure. Or yeah. a wireless home phone. Yeah. Right. Baller. Or even an electric garage door <laughs> opener. All right. So we're, we're trying to get a list together here. Uh, I'm I'm making note of a couple of things, uh, but uh, what would you, what would you add to this list? What's something that you used to be impressed by? If you want to hit us up, do that on the text over to two two nine eight seven. My list is kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All I right. mean, I, I I was thinking about it randomly because I was thinking, you know, just how much things have changed. I mean, I thought it was super cool because um, I I learned about eight track tapes way after we already had mm. cassettes and everything mm -hmm. right. and my grandma showed me uh -huh. she still had the eight track or whatever 
And I thought it was cool that you push a button, it would go directly to the next song. I'm like, wow. It would Whoa. Like make like, that noise. How come we can't do that with cassettes? Right. right. Because it was like fast forward, rewind, fast forward. Uh-huh. To find the song that you wanted, and you had to keep doing that. This is just a button. Boom, boom, boom. And it like, go, just, like instant cue yeah. into the like the CDs were well, when you got the CD. You could only do it four times, I think. Because the 8-track player that my cousin had, it only had four buttons. And if you could do like one, two, three, or yeah, four. Yeah, because that 8-track. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Once, once you got to four, it over. was like, uh oh. I thought wait. that was like super cool. Yeah. <laughs> super know. cool. I know. Uh eight seven seven forty four Woody. Text over to two two nine eight seven. Something that uh used to be so impressed by. <laughs> One you know, of the things like, that is so believe stupid it. when I was a kid, if you were a grown adult and you were divorced, I thought that sounded so cool. Cool. And so <laughs> adult. Divorced? <Whoa. laughs> yeah. I know. That is the weirdest thing. But That's bizarre. My <laughs> uncle was divorced, and I thought, he is so cool. That's right? exotic. Yeah. I'm sure he was loving life. He, oh, that's funny. Alimony. he drove a Z. A, oh, yeah. Z oh, yeah. car. A yeah. Z. And yeah. he was divorced. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I thought he was a private investigator or like a, yeah. like a spy. Like, I have oh, a, he's divorced. I have a couple car-related things. So... I used to be impressed by a hoarder when I was a, when I was a okay. kid. Didn't know what a hoarder was. Just this guy lived in the neighborhood. Out of, we thought his house was a museum. That's so he had funny. A lot of cool stuff, of cool old stuff. Uh, you know, Greg was talking about some of the stuff that uh, that he was impressed by. People who are divorced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> that was that's so, so, that was so like, cool. Oh, it's so adult. Yeah. So adult. Yeah, Ravi, what's something that uh, you used to think was impressive? I used to think there was a. Dad in our neighborhood that drove a Mazda Miata, and oh, I thought that coolest. was the coolest car <laughs> Those ever cool. in the history of time. Now you see one, you're like, "What?" Those it's basically tiny things. It's basically a smart car. Yeah, a little <laughs> go yeah, car. Kinda, but that it's, was like the ultimate. It's so tiny. Yeah. yeah. But I used to think it was really cool. So European. It's very European. <laughs> now I think it's like so stupid. There's a couple car <laughs> things I used to be yeah. impressed about. One was that any car that had the electric seatbelt. So you open the door. Oh, and yeah. Oh, right, right, right. You go right, forward, right. and then you yeah. close the door. Or just back. electric locks. Yeah, that was cool. And then do you remember bras for cars? Oh, yeah. When you put the oh, black right, leather. Oh, right, on the front there? Yep. Yeah. I uh, thought those made it look so sporty and cool. Uh, so dumb. I was, yeah, I so was, dumb. I thought that was dumb. Uh, the, the stuff for cars that I thought was cool. I remember yeah, the first yeah. time we got a car that had the retractable antenna. So as soon as you turn the car, oh, it was yeah. a powered oh. antenna. We were like, it would like raise up and down. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Look That's at awesome. This. That was really cool. And then the other one for cars, I thought it was super cool when you got into somebody's car and they had the radar detector. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to, like oh, when yeah. you're driving, like, you know, know uh-huh. if a uh, cop was. Uh, sure. Yeah. Did those yeah. things even work? Yeah. 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 yeah but the thing is, they would, they would, you get interference from uh, shopping centers and stuff because uh-huh. there was whatever they were using for their security. I think it was, uh, would interfere and like it, it would start like chirping at you. Right. Yeah. But there were some I remember like, you know, remember in the in the nineties when like the uh the car audio places were super popular. Yes. Uh-huh. Audio Express. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> right? like you go in there and like they you know, they'd sell you like the big souped up uh sound systems. And yeah. They would sell radar and uh-huh. auto start, which is another thing that I was yeah. like super impressed by. I'm like, what? Uh-huh. You can start your car remotely. And then the car what? alarm systems that had yeah, yeah. like Viper, Viper armed. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. like when oh, he yeah. clicked yeah. it. Yeah. I had one of those. But like uh, detachable yeah. face stereos. Yeah, they, oh, they yeah. would sell some of this like uh the radar detector, the fuzz busters or whatever they were, were calling them, like that were installed into the car. What? Yeah. So it'd be in the Never front grill of the car, oh, like wow. the sensor would be there oh. and then that's when you know serious. That's when you knew like the Falling. guy that you were with was super cool <laughs> because he was gonna be sp- not just speeding, he was gonna be yeah. Speeding, <laughs> really speed. Ass. Ground yeah. effects. Yeah, dude. Oh hell yeah. yeah. What about car phones? Holy crap! When yeah. those first came uh-huh. out, they were a fortune. Yep. Yeah. And I called my mom from my friend's car phone and said, "You'll never guess where I'm going yeah. from." I'm in the car. Sammy. Yeah, I got a few. Uh, fridge where you can fill up your ice and the oh, water yeah. and the front. Oh my god, yeah, that we was wanted the, that I, so bad. Uh-huh. I just thought you made it. Like success mm-hmm. achieved. Yeah. Oh. This is it. <laughs> my uh, my aunt and uncle had that. We'd go over there for like the major holidays, and it was always yeah. so cool, man. Because you get the ice right out of the door. I know. Right. We, didn't, we didn't have that. Like, in fact, awesome. we, we didn't even have an ice maker. We had the trays. Oh, trays. yeah. Oh hell yeah, we were Sucked. a tray family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just thought like anybody that had like high fashion like they were successful i didn't realize like oh it's accessible to a lot of people even if you're rich or poor you can get high fashion items i just thought like oh 
they're high fashion. They're like super successful. They I have mean, like but, a really nice job. But what was high fashion? Hyper color shirts? Yeah, like my day you know? was Jordan. No, I was jeans. like, mine's were <laughs> Benetton. Yeah. yeah. Or Gas. Or, yeah, like Gas that. was a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, you have Gas jeans. Yeah. I also Balling. really, I mean, this is nerdy, but vending machines. I loved vending machines. I thought they were the coolest, and I didn't even care about what was inside. I just wanted it to, like, spiral out and drop. If there was ever a vending <laughs> machine, I begged to use it. Oh, yeah? well, it, remember the first time you saw one that served up ice cream? Yeah. Like an uh, ice cream vending machine? Like, that was awesome. Yeah? What? Yeah. You've, you've seen I those? I, I don't yeah. remember that. You don't remember? Oh, I mean, I don't remember I don't, being, I have no recollection of that. Being, there, uh, there's two different kinds. Rolled by it. Yeah, there, there's one where it's just like, you know. Dipping dots. You don't see it or whatever, <laughs> right? Like, you don't see the, the items. It's not like a regular vending machine uh-huh. where the spiral thing drops right. it or whatever. It would just spit it out, and there was your chip witch or whatever okay. you were getting, your ice oh. cream sandwich. Then there was this other one I saw that was really cool. It had this like, robotic arm on it, and there was basically a little, like, cooler kind of sitting behind yeah. the glass. And it would like, I think the dipping dots came mm-hmm. in those too. Like it would like open up the, the lid of the cooler and then grab whatever you wanted out of the thing. Hmm. Yeah, Super like, cool. <laughs> that would be Rip. cool now, to yeah, be like, honest. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I would love I mean, to see that now. Yeah. You don't uh, see it now? No. I see it on the rag. Text here, 412 says uh, cars with the little wipers for the headlights, like windshield wipers for the headlights. <laughs> oh, I think like yeah. Mercedes had yes. that. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was cool. That was mega cool. Very baller. Uh, Dan from New Jersey says the uh, sidekick phones really impressed me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pulling out their phone, and with the flick of a finger, the screen flips around. I had every single one. Oh, this is a good one from the 503 home intercom systems. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, but they never work. There was, oh. there was one. I How remember, annoying that would have been. My friend had this one, like the home intercom system. It'd be at the front door or whatever, but then mm. they also had one in the house. And it would go to all the different rooms. Yeah. And it had a cassette deck built into it. So you could like play music throughout the house. Mm-hmm. It even had so like cool. a it even yeah. had a radio tuner in it. Mm-hmm. So like if you just wanted to have music throughout the house, you could either pop your cassette in there or <laughs> use the uh the uh the AM FM tuner. It's awesome. I'm not even remotely like kidding. Dope. A home intercom system today would impress me. But you pretty much have that. You got Ring, you got Alexas, you got Yeah, but not inside the house. It should what? like built into That well, would have like, been the worst. If like my if mother you, from upstairs would have been intercoming me yeah, when like I was in the button. basement. Gravy yeah. dinner time. So we use it a lot because the kids each have like uh like echo dots yeah. in their room. Right. And so if we're looking at them dinner time, we just go, you know, uh, I forget what the command is, and it just goes to the different rooms like dinner time, let's go. And they can reply back or, you know, yeah. really? be down in a minute. Yeah, through oh, yeah. echoes and like. Yeah, just through like your yeah, smart Yeah, Greg. <laughs> I didn't know I had okay, that. Okay, Greg's mind is blown. What? No, because I have those in just about every room. I yeah. didn't know you could use it as an Because you had yeah. to name it when you set it up. Right. Right. And so you just go uh, drop into Mario's room. Mario, dinner's ready. Or what? whatever, yeah. Uh-huh. I am go. so <laughs> doing that today. Yeah, see? <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Oh Welcome, Greg. Yeah. There's a more new phenomenon, or not phenomenon, but not being a kid, something I used to be impressed by, maybe up until a few years ago, is at your job, if you had your own office or your own desk, uh, I thought, that wow. means you made it. Yeah. Big time. I have my own desk here. I never yeah. go, I never use it. I just come into the studio and do my stuff here. I thought it was a big deal when I first got business cards. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I that mean, was cool. Like, let's, have, let's assume I still had my first job that I got business cards. I would still have cards left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like one why do, box. Why do you always yeah. get a thousand? And that's it. Yeah. Although um ran into a guy at that uh, radio thing that I went to and he gave me all his information with a just a uh, digital yeah, QR the code. QR code. Yeah, that's how Yeah. Yeah. He just opened up his phone, he goes, Here, boom, and then was it. It just and it turned it right it opened yeah. up the, the contacts on your iPhone, just oh, yeah. put it in there, yeah. done. Pretty he's, cool. Yeah. He's gonna be so disappointed when the new iPhone comes out. Why? Because you kind of just like motion towards the other phone. Right. We'll send that, exactly. all that info. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Which I thought yep. they already had. Sure. Here's another one. Another one from uh, 412. It says, people who had the wood panels that match their cabinets on their fridge. So like you couldn't even see where the, the <laughs> oh, fridge yeah. was there. Yeah. Is that had, a thing? Yeah. Oh, You've yeah. never seen yeah. that? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, my God. People yep. still do that like uh, in their kitchen yep. so you don't see the dishwasher. It just oh, blends yeah. in with the cabinetry. Yep. It just looks like a, it's nice. Yeah, it's hella fancy. I still think it's impressive. Weird. Yeah.
What about the faucets that you could pull out and rinse? You know, oh yeah, we never had that, and yeah. I thought those were cool. Yeah, yeah, not the little <laughs> spray handle one that was off to the side. You're talking about right. the one where it's built the into the, the faucet. Out. Yeah, so awesome. Speaking about that cabinet thing, there's a viral clip right now of uh, Burt Kreischer's house, and Tiffany Haddish is over, and she's like, "Oh, I need some ice." He's like, "Oh yeah, just push on that cabinet over there." Because you can't even see it. Uh -huh. It just holds ice. Oh, she right. goes, oh, you were like rich, rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing a few people on the text that say uh, anybody had a two-story house. Oh. Yeah. yeah like if, if, I used uh -huh. to love that. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Two-story house. Yeah. yeah that was... So many steps. <laughs> what about laundry chutes in a two-story house? Oh, so yeah. cool. Yeah, somebody, uh, Casey from the 504 text over about that. Laundry chutes that you just throw your clothes oh, in and really? drop downstairs mm -hmm. to the laundry room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those were the coolest. Yeah. I want a trash chute so bad. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Why don't houses have those? Oh, Just I thought dumb spinner rims people. were cool. Oh, five, heck six, yeah. Two. Spinner I mean, rims say, or white you rims? Would, yeah, you would want 22-inch rims so bad, and mm -hmm. now like 22-inch is like almost standard now. <laughs> See, that's that's the one thing I, I always thought was stupid. The spinners? The spinner rims, yeah. I thought they were kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I never. I was like, I always thought they looked dumb. Yeah. That and putting the uh, the wings on the back of your like Honda, <laughs> yeah, like it's a goddamn Honda. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah. You're not gonna fly off the road <laughs> in cool. your day to day drive. Like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I remember I installed uh, the brickyard. Let me right. know. You know, on the on the Honda on the hood, they had the little I don't know they the uh, emblem or whatever the no like it it like sat up a little bit for your windshield wipers. The, there was like little. Two little like black dots on there. Oh, that's for the uh, windshield wipers. Yeah, for the windshield wipers. I replaced those where they could light up. It looks so <laughs> oh. cool. That is badass. Yeah, I did yeah, it myself. Man. I was so happy. Isn't that weird? Wow. Anything yeah. that yeah. lights yeah. up. And then I got <laughs> cool. I got pulled over. Oh yeah. 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 Because it's distracting, it. right? No, it just looks cool. They're what being haters. You, what about when you make the bottom of your car? <laughs> yeah, light the up. ground effect. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, so rad. Super cool. 877-44 Woody. What else you got for us? Uh, I'll get to a couple of these last minute ones uh, that are on the text here in just a moment. Uh, send your text over to 2297 Couches with a ish ton of pillows to make forts. <laughs> so yep. the 209, oh, Greg. Making forts. I loved Our that. Yeah. Futons. We have futons. Oh, yeah. What? Futons. It could be a bed? I what? know. <laughs> that seemed like a really good idea. Yeah. I, I was impressed in my early 20s if you were my age and had a couch instead of a futon. Because all we had was futons. Because mm. yeah. they're, they're cheaper. And yeah. then you go like, whoa, you have an actual couch? Yeah, Greg what? couldn't wait to be an adult. Couldn't wait. Yeah, like, dude, you're divorced? Rip. I, I thought that was... You have an actual couch? I thought what? Was, what? if you smoked or swore in front of your parents, I'm like, whoa. Wow. Dude, you're big you're time. Cool. You're cool. You're smoking right in front of your mom. Right. Things that you used to be impressed by. <laughs> Caller ID. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah right. That. that and call waiting. Mm -hmm. Call waiting was oh. mind blowing. That was so cool. It's like what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember the first time I saw a microwave. Oh, really? I get it. Oh, I really? At that. the same house that uh, oh. had the the CD player, Melissa oh. Horowitz's uh -huh. house. The Horowitz had all the cool stuff. Oh, they're yeah. making a rain. They lived in the same apartment complex that we did, wow. but they had way cooler stuff. And they had HBO too. Oh my wow. god! Yeah, it's like heaven what over there. Did yeah, they and, have? and her dad sold carpet. Yeah. Oh, he was really? A flooring guy. Yeah. Melissa Horowitz, more like Melissa Bezos. Right? Yeah. yeah. And the mom, Beverly, was stay at home. Yeah. Beverly. Yeah. I wonder what Gates. else he was selling. Bev Horowitz? Carpet. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Out of the back room of the store. I don't store. know. Just How dumb cocaine. Howard was an up and up guy. Yeah. So it Howard, Horowitz. How Howard and Beverly Horowitz. They Horowitz. wasn't selling cocaine out of the No. Back? No. But yeah, so like in HBO. I remember the Please. first time. Um, <laughs> Uh, we made eggs in the microwave, like scrambled eggs oh. in a little styrofoam cup. Oh. Cracked the egg in there and just like, Whoa. dude, rip. Crazy. <laughs> uh, on the text, Chris says uh, bunk beds. Bunk beds? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. jealous yeah. of anybody oh, who had yeah. bunk beds. We One had them. those growing up. They were in my brother's room. Uh, 785 says uh, when somebody I know had whole house air conditioning, so not just window oh, units, okay. oh, yeah. like central air. Yeah, but that's pretty baller. That was pretty baller. Definitely. Oh. I always thought this would be cool. The whole house vacuuming system. Like, we just plug the, the <laughs> yeah. hose into the wall. I've never seen one in real life. My you aunt and uncle it? had one. Uh, yeah. I think it was a pain in the ass. I believe my brother and sister-in-law have it, too. Really? really? Yeah, because, like, 
it's really bulky and heavy. Like when you have what to is? get the hose out and plug it into the thing. All you gotta do is plug it in the wall. All you have like, yeah, is, but, the, is the but the hoses are the really hose. long and bulky and awkward. But why would they be? Any, uh, I guess because the 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 port can't move. Because the port, yeah. the hose yeah. has to the be port longer. is where the port is. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. uh, that's true. Like, there are a few different ports, obviously, yeah. but Sounds it's still like. Yeah. And then you have to. Get it all up. You're knocking over furniture in another yeah. port. Yeah. yeah. 562 says, I remember being very impressed by Zippo lighters. Oh, <laughs> those were fun. They made a yeah, cool because, sound. Well, and you couldn't blow them out. You couldn't go. Whoosh. Right. They, they just, they would just click stay closed. lit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And especially the people who were really cool about the way they opened it. Like they, right. You know. yep. Hell yeah. Yeah, my cool divorced uncle. Yeah. He had a Zippo lighter and he would take his cigarettes and put them in this glass box. Oh, wow. And then so when you wanted to have a cigarette, you just open the box. <laughs> this guy was so 80s. He was so uh, 80s. He was rocking a, <laughs> he was rocking a Z. So 80s. <laughs>